Hey there, comic book fans. I just wanted to give you a quick look about at something that just got in the mail. And this is the 25th anniversary special, Lori Lovecraft Omnibus, by Mo Mike Vosberg and uh, who Ventrella? Pete Ventrella. Now, I, I wanted to show you this because I didn't even know it existed. It looks like it's signed and numbered to 39 out of 200. Uh, Walter Simonson on Twitter and Facebook put a link to This Is Coming Out. I guess he's friends with Mike Vosberg. I remember him from my youth doing some Marvel stuff, I think. But I, I saw this and I, you know, I liked the art. Uh, and it's, I guess it's his um, character, he, his uh, creator-owned character that he's done over the years. I think some of it said it, it went back to Star Reach Classics. Haven't read it yet. Like I said, I just got it in the mail today. Cost me 35 bucks shipped, I think it was. It's a couple of hundred pages. Have glorious black and white, some nudity in it. And let's see the stuff from over the years. There's the table of contents, how many stories it is. Uh, and nice little afterwards. And, uh, whoops. There's the her, her sputtering career at 25 stuff. But I really liked it, just flipping through it, I really liked the art. It's got a very nice uh, black and white graphic design quality. Some nice illustrations, too. I, I, nice drawing there. Well, like I said, the black and white. Oh, here's some uh, AV from Mature Read. I don't know. Uh, I, I've never seen this before. Like I said, this is completely new to me. Uh, Lori Lovecraft, but I really liked the the samples of artwork in it. Uh, I'll I'll leave a link down below to where you can to Mike Vos, Vosberg's website where you can order this from. But but I I just kind of bought this on a whim because like I said, Walter posted a link to it. I clicked on the link and went, wow, I haven't seen Mike Vosberg's stuff in a long time. It's really nice. Nice little drawing right there. New Rockwich film smashes box office records. that drawing right there. Nice black and white stuff with the white hair against the black of the background. But yeah, like I said, I, I, it just caught my, like I said, I, uh, Lori Lovecraft pinups. Oh, there's a James Bond picture down there. One of Bob McGinnis's luscious James Bond movie posters. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's here the pinups in the back. It's February 20th, 2001. Dear Mike. Oh, he's got a Robert McGinnis. I guess that's a... Maybe a Robert McGinnis illustration for this. Oh, look. Various pinups back here. Of Lori Lovecraft. Like, this is the first time I'm looking through it. I haven't read any of it. But I really liked the artwork in it that I saw on the site. Linda Lovecraft. Did I say Lori Lovecraft? What is it? It's Lori Lovecraft here. I guess there's a Linda Lovecraft too. Long before there was a Lori, there was a Linda Lovecraft. Look at that. <laughs> I was working at Marvel and DC in the 70s and a bit bored penciling superheroes when along comes Star Reach comics with the chance to draw whatever I wanted and ink it myself. Okay. Originally I did four stories. Mary Screens wrote a couple of them. Unfortunately, one of those stories, White Slavers of Scrofula, had humor that might not be f that might have been funny at the time, but now only came across as racist. <laughs> oh, it must be uh, tough to look back at your own work and go, "Ooh, I did that." But look at just some really nice black and white artwork. I think that's Bob Dylan. That's supposed to be from. There's a nice, really nice black and white panel. But I thought I'd give you a little look at this just to let you know it's out there because I had no idea it existed. There, 
I think there might only be 200 copies of it. Uh, so go and get your copy now if you want one.